bathing at night. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard carrying goods and passengers. They cheerfully chuffed up and down the lines. All except Edward. Edward was worried. He wheezed as he puffed, and steam hissed out of his cylinders. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. He had an important job for him. A special delivery of fruit and vegetables is coming to the docks today, I told him. I want you to take it to Napoli. Yes, sir, said Edward. But he was worried about his weeds. It felt worse today. Thomas, you ought to go to the docks and shunt Edward's freight cars. After that, you can carry on with your usual job. Yes, sir, said Thomas eagerly. Thomas and Edward puffed to the water tower. Edward tried to stop wheezing, but he couldn't. What's the matter, asked Thomas. You don't sound well. I can't seem to get up Steve properly, said Edward. But I'll manage. Don't tell anyone, Thomas. Thomas wasn't sure about this. I don't want Sir Topham Hatt to know, hissed Edward. Thomas could see Edward was worried, so he agreed. He hurried off to shut Edward's freight car. Edward followed slowly to the docks. Edward was very worried. What if he was too weak to pull his train? He would be of no use to the railway. He wouldn't be useful at all. Edward shuddered at the thought. Must keep going. Must keep going. He wheezed fearfully. 